Hey guys, welcome back to another video of DIY, all things DIY. This is actually going to be the last video wrapping up my embroidery series with using the Cantan needle. And so this one is going to show you how to transfer pictures that you draw or pictures that you see online onto a shirt or any other thing that you want to put it on. This is the final product. So yeah, okay, stay tuned. Okay, so this first method you can use is for when you draw a design that you really like but it just happens to be a little too small before you put it on your t-shirt, say. All you have to do is take a picture of it and then send it to your computer. When it's on your computer, you can increase that size as however big you want. You can even let it go off of the screen and then just move the paper around when you're tracing it onto another paper. So you can see right here, I'm drawing the same exact design, just in larger size. Later, you'll see how to transfer that picture onto from the paper onto your shirt. But this one that you're seeing here, you can just even go directly from the computer screen to your shirt if the shirt is see-through, like mine. Um, always, you can always turn the brightness up and see if you can see it through the t-shirt. Um, it just makes it a little easier, it's like less steps. What you're going to do is trace, as you see that I'm doing. And then you're ready to embroider that design. Okay, and for the second method, it's really similar to the first method, but the difference is that you find your design online and it's already on your computer so you don't have to um, take a picture and send it to your computer. Then you make it whatever size you want and trace it onto your paper. I use line paper because it's relatively thin compared to printer paper. So you don't have to turn the brightness like all the way up to try to see through the paper. And we're going to be poking holes in the paper also, so having it thinner just works in your favor, really. And there's your design. When you start poking the holes in it, you want to use a pencil with a sharp point and also have a cushion underneath the paper so that when you start poking the holes it'll go in easily instead of you struggling to get the holes through. You want to poke as many holes as just enough that you can see the design but not too many that you get tired of like all the holes. Then when you go to put it onto the shirt, I put this notebook in between because my shirt is really thin and I don't want the sharpie that I'm going to be using to go into holes to bleed through to the other side of the shirt. And I use colors of the thread that I'm going to end up using so that even if you kind of see it on underneath, it doesn't stand out too much. Like if I were going to use yellow, but I used black Sharpie, then you'd be able to see the black dots and I just don't think that's cute. Also, I should have done this in the beginning, but put a little bit of tape to keep the paper in place so that it doesn't start shifting around as you're putting the holes into the design. So you're just going back into the holes that you had made with the pencil. So you don't do that like while you're trying to do it onto the shirt. And you want to check that you can see the design before you take off the paper so that you can, you know, see where the lines are going to be. You don't have to do this, but I like to. I draw the lines out, especially for this one. This one, there were a lot of lines or dots everywhere that I couldn't really make it out. So I do that before embroidering. All right, this third method is gonna be similar to the first two, but you're not gonna go onto your computer. So you already draw the design that you want in the scale and size that you want it to be when you transfer it over to the shirt. 
what you're going to do is you're going to cut out that design um, and I'm guessing that it's going to be more intricate than my circle but the idea is to get the outline of it so that you can outline it onto the shirt directly. And because it has details on the inside of the design, yeah, you're just going to poke holes just like we did with the flower and then get it onto the shirt before you start embroidering. And those are my three designs. This is just going to be me embroidering. I thought I'd add it. If you have any questions on how to embroider with a Cantan needle, that's my previous video. So go ahead and check that out too. Feel free to skip ahead if this is boring for you. Alright, this fourth and final method is used for when your fabric is too thick to see through the computer screen but also too dark to notice any dots that you might place on it. You're going to take a piece of plastic, maybe like a film or a sandwich baggie, and then draw on that. Put that on your shirt or whatever, tape it on, and embroider through the plastic. And you'll be left with this. All you have to do now is to cut away the plastic, but just be sure to be careful and not cut any of the, you know, the stitching, because that would just suck. And then you'll be left with this, your final design. As a bonus method for this, if you have an iPad and you have a picture that you want to embroider, um, which I've kind of mentioned in my last video, you can open Procreate, it's about $10 to buy, and it's amazing, so you should get it. You'll put in the picture, turn down the transparency, make a new layer, and trace the outline of whatever you want. I left my picture faceless, just because, especially at the scale that I had it, it was too small. Um, but you can put in the face details if you want to. I still think it's cute. And then use, try to trace over this on an iPad. See how I made a mark there? It like catches your hand, so I suggest sending it to your computer and doing it like the other ways that we already went over. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope it was helpful at all. Mm. Yeah. If you like this video, go ahead and like it and subscribe to my channel. I'll try to, I'm going to be consistent on Fridays. So next Friday, I'll be making different lays, like graduation lays, because people are graduating soon. It's, it's that like time of season, time of year. And yeah, okay, I'll see you next week. Bye.